Hello everyone. So we're looking at Fallout 4. It's uh, running on the GPU in. Um, I have had it go faster, but it gets uh, ridiculously hot when I um, on throttle my GPU. So you can notice I put it back down to 400 megahertz. Uh, keeping it at 400 megahertz keeps me at like the uh, actually you can see it right there at 67. Keeps me at like uh, under the seven under the 75 degree mark. Oh, I'm getting attacked. I don't know who is firing at me. Is he up above? Aha! Uh, oh, sh oh, that's my dog. I was afraid for a second. Oh, he's hiding behind cover. <laughs> so, the um, one of the mods that I'm using uh, reduces, like, makes things disappear faster. Um, so you can find this stuff from like low spec gamer. Um, right now it's at 20 frames a second. I did have it go up to 35 frames when I was uh, running the. Uh, oh crap! My GPU is at 600 megahertz right now. Oh crap! Hope my my thing doesn't melt. Um, let me. Sorry about that. I want to make sure things are in focus. Oh shit! I'm getting shot. Oh, I died. <laughs> um, holy hell, my... Fuck, it's so hot. Uh, I'm thinking... Uh, I, I did have it performing considerably better. I really gotta do the heatsink mod. Uh, yeah, that's fine, we'll do. Um, even though the, fr I don't know if you can see the frame rate, it's at like 20. When I was outside, it was actually considerably higher, like 35. Uh, hopefully I can just stop dying and, uh, go outside real quick. When I went, entered this room, there wasn't a battle when I saved. Run away! Let's go out to the Commonwealth. I really gotta do the heating mod on this. Um, it's overheating like the Dickens. So you can see I'm like 26, 25. Certain parts of being outside, I was getting like 35. Uh, I was hoping I could find it again. Where I go? But I mean, for the most part, I'm hovering around 30 frames a second. Um, especially for a game like Fallout 4, it's completely playable. But if you can see right there, at 80 degrees Celsius, my chip is like on fire right now. Um, I thought I disabled my GPU uh, on throttle, and it is still enabled. Um, I'll run a little bit longer, but if we start hitting like 85 degrees Celsius, I'm going to cut this thing short, because I got to... I gotta. I don't want to kill my chip. Um, but yeah, I mean, when you're walking around, it's like very. It'll go up to like 30. I had it at 35. Um, but obviously, when you saw those action and stuff, um, I could reduce the players from showing up a little bit earlier. But uh, I got the configuration from Low Spec Gamer, and he has the actors showing up at two. Um, oh, the the config is at two. You know what? Let me go ahead and show you where the config is because that'll be. Uh, far more valuable than me playing here. I mean, you can see it running at, at uh, 20 and 30 frames a second. Again, um, Fallout 4, uh, because of the uh, the VAC system, 
that frame rate isn't terrible because you can slow it down a lot. And also I found another little uh, zoom tool that works really nice. Kind of just sits right there and now uh, this doesn't zoom anymore. You can see it right here. It's a free app. I will put it in the description field. But once you click that, now you can zoom even on the desktop with a pinch. And when you're doing borderless windows at small resolutions, uh, it really helps. So let's go ahead and look at uh, documents, uh, my games, Fallout 4. All right, so we're gonna look at the press file. Um, again, you could mostly get most of this from uh, Low Spec Gamer, um, but the one thing that I did change that he has much higher than I do is the resolution. And mine is way down. I think I have 360 or less. You know, it'll be easier if I just search for it. Do uh, control F. Um, crud. What did I. Oh, I could have searched up. I mean, a lot of these values you can see that got changed right here. Uh, th these are higher by default. There it is. So I'm running 288 by 512 is the resolution that you saw at. Um, and it is playable, but again, my machine gets stupid hot with my on throttling that I've done. Um, so not the not the brightest thing um, to be running um, with BIOS hacks. Well, BIOS hacks. It, Basically, I went into the BIOS in the earlier video that you saw, and I disabled a whole mess of stuff. Um, memory Scrambler is now disabled. I don't know if that's good or bad. I did test, and it looked s the same. So I don't know if I'm just going to re-enable it, because it supposedly, supposedly gets better power, um, or it's a better use of power. Um, but yeah, definitely head on over to Low Spec Gamer, because more or less, I mean, I'm using his his configuration, as you can see here, I do have the ultra-low uh, graphics mod, but the ultra-low graphics mod only really touched on grass, like how, how much grass was being shown. Um, and that does help a lot, like I was getting 35 around just right outside of the vault. Um, so I was pretty happy with that, um, but once you start having actors on the screen and there's some other stuff, uh, performance does go down to 15 and 20. Again, because of the VAX system, it is still playable. Um, but again, you're going to need to mod your heatsink um, to support that. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, so that's that was Fallout 4 running. Just so you can see it running. Uh, it's playable. Uh, it's completely playable. Also, you don't even... You could get away a with uh, not using the back system like you saw earlier that I was playing. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm probably going to do Skyrim as well. But I think what I'm going to do next, I have to do the PSP, like, uh, all together emulation thing. I'll just do a compilation. And then the next video I'm going to do is I'm going to show how you can mod your heatsink to improve the performance. Um, and then maybe I'll run Fallout 4 again and see how hot it gets after doing the uh, heatsink mod. Um, I should also do some before uh, tests just so that we can see the difference. Anyway, that was Fallout 4 running. Um, thanks for watching.